Hello, Tone Lovell here with another one minute review. So this time we're reviewing Simpsons Hit and Run. I got my Eric Cartman shirt, I don't know. But anyways, we're going to review this. And yes, this video is going to be longer than a minute. Deal with it! So, every Simpsons game rips off something, and this time, Hit and Run is ripping off Saints Row. Drive cars, run people over, take on missions, beat up Ned Flanders? Everything you find in Saints Row. The map of Springfield also sucks. Everything is one road, as I guess it's that way so you won't get lost somewhere? Oh, where do I go for this mission? Just drive the other way and you'll get there? Also, these mission setups are dumb. Drive one way to collect objects, then drive back the other way for other objects, then to deliver them to some random citizen of Springfield? Oh, in a very short time limit? This is just the beginning of the game too, and it gets much worse and much harder than this! Who thought of this? And to progress, you need these stupid coins for vehicles and outfits, and if cops catch you, you lose most of them! <laughs> Why? Why? So just stay away from Family Guy's Hit and Run, please. So yeah, I'm not happy with Simpsons Hit and Run. It's way too hard, especially later on in the game. And everything about this game is such a ripoff. No one should play this. And um, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. For Millhouse? I take everything back! This is the greatest game ever! Reckless driving is my pet peeve. 